If you're new here to my channel, here we go. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. The tips, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. <laughs> I'm ready. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I am a plant-based RN and I follow the Starch Solution. If you're not familiar with the Starch Solution, it is a program that was developed by Dr. John McDougall. It is a starch-centered diet where you eat whole food, plant-based starches like potatoes, rice, beans, corn, oats, lots of non-starchy vegetables, no oil, and I was able to lose 15 pounds eating this way. On my channel, you will find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if all that sounds good to you, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Chew on Vegan. And if you're new to this way of eating or if you feel like you need a little bit more support, I started a Facebook group as well. We're a group of like-minded people. We share our recipes, we show pictures, we give each other support. And I will leave a link to Dr. John McDougall's book, The Start Solution, and to my Facebook group in the description box below. Today I'm gonna to be showing you weight loss waffles. I'm gonna make three different kinds. I'm gonna make a savory potato waffle, I'm gonna make a standard waffle, and I'm also gonna make like a dessert waffle. All these are gonna be starch solution compliant and you can totally eat these if you're on your weight loss journey. So let's get started. So the first waffle I'm going to make is going to be the potato waffle. But the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is heat up your waffle iron. So I've got this going. I've also peeled and chopped three small Yukon Gold potatoes, which I have boiling on the stove. I'm gonna let them go for another couple minutes till they're soft. And then I'm gonna show you how we put this all together. So you can see how soft these potatoes are. You can use whatever kind of potatoes you want. I just really love Yukon Gold. So we're just gonna mash these up with a fork. You can use a potato masher. You wanna make sure you completely drain them. You don't want a lot of water in here. That's just not gonna make a good waffle. I'm just going to season these up with a little bit of salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and smoked paprika. I'm also going to add a couple tablespoons of minced red onion just to kind of give it a different texture in there when you're biting into it. So we're going to carefully open our waffle iron that's screaming hot. If your waffle iron is old or not a non-stick, you might want to just do a very light spritz of cooking oil. I mean, super light. It's not going to be the end of the world if you do that. It's better than them sticking. Or get a new, a new waffle iron. So we're just going to put a little bit in each little well here. And every waffle iron is going to be different. And you just kind of have to experiment as to um, how your waffle iron is going to behave. So I think that's good for the first round. And then I'll just see, maybe I need to put more in next time or less. So then we're just going to shut our waffle iron and we're going to let these cook for a few minutes. My rule of thumb is when it stops steaming, it's done. So we will just let these go. Okay, the steaming has really slowed down. It's been about 10 minutes. I just wanna check it and see. And I think these look pretty good. Yep. And I love these little wooden um, tongs because it won't scratch your, your waffle iron. And also this is great for getting um, toast out of the toaster. Okay. So I think these look pretty good. I'm gonna make another batch and then we'll be ready to taste. Since these are savory, I paired them with some asparagus. I put my cheese sauce on here and they came out beautifully, as you can see. So definitely give these a try. They're really good for breakfast or anytime actually. 
So the next waffle is going to be just uh, my traditional low-fat waffle. Uh, it's basically the same recipe I used for my pancakes. I'm just probably going to make it a little bit thicker of a batter. So I've got one and a half cups of oats. I've got some vanilla powder, cinnamon, and baking powder. We're going to add a banana. So we're going to use half this batter to make our dessert waffles and half the batter to make the traditional. So I'm going to add, start with a half a cup of water and if I need more then I will add it. I'm just going to go blend this up and then we'll be ready to put it in our waffle iron. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in each little quadrant here. So while our original waffles are cooking, I'm going to make the batter for the chocolate and I'm just going to add a couple tablespoons of cocoa powder and then I'm going to add a little bit of maple syrup, you know, maybe a tablespoon and then I'm just going to blend this up and then when those are done, we'll make the chocolate ones. Here's my little waffles, um, they came out a little small. You can always put more batter in if you want them larger. And I'm just going to put a little bit of maple syrup on here. And I've got a few blueberries. And there is our traditional waffles, mini waffles. Now let's move on to our chocolate waffles. This has gotten pretty thick because it's been waiting, but that's okay. I'm going to fill these up a little bit more. Have a little bit bigger ones. And I probably filled them too much. All right. While those waffles are cooking, I'm going to make a quick little chocolate sauce to drizzle over our waffles. So I've got a couple tablespoons of cocoa powder. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of plant milk and then maybe a tablespoon of maple syrup. And this is optional. I just thought it might be fun. We're just going to mix it together. Okay, here's our chocolate sauce. We'll drizzle that onto our waffles. I almost got it right this time. It's almost a whole waffle. So we're gonna add a little almond whipped cream on there. And I'm gonna put some bananas. And then we're gonna drizzle our little chocolate sauce on here. not really drizzling. Yum. So you've got some chocolate banana waffles with some chocolate sauce. Mmm, delicious. So as you can see, you can do a lot of things with waffles and you can still eat waffles and lose weight. I'll leave the recipe for these three waffles in the description box below. And I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some ideas and some inspiration. And I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Chew on Vegan, and check out my Facebook group as well. And remember that all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet. And remember that what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. All right, well, I walked away and these got a little bit, just with the bangs, people.